My name is Logan. Today we're going to talk about art. More specifically, about Vincent Van Gogh. And today, kids, you guys can all be great artists like him someday. But today we're going to teach you how art can make you feel better. Alright, let's get started here. Vincent Van Gogh. You guys ever hear of him? Uh, anybody? Anybody ever hear of him? Your parents probably have. Yeah, you, any of you guys recognize this painting over here? This is called Starry Night, like the stars in the sky. And that you see the little town and this way the light swirls in the stars. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, he he uh, he he made that. He painted that. Just a easel and paint. Vincent van Gogh, what do you want to know about him, guys? Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch artist. He lived in Europe, fancy old Europe. And he had a lot of stuff going on in his life. Do you guys have stuff going on in your life? Parents, chores, some foods you guys don't like. Or you get upset, you scrape your knee sometimes, but you get right back up. We all have those moments in life, right? We all feel angry sometimes and upset. But what Vincent did, Vincent was, was sad a lot. But what he decided to do was he decided to think about his sadness and use it to make something beautiful out of it. That's gonna, what I'm going to teach you today. All right, Vincent Van Gogh is a famous star artist. He used his sadness and his painting to make beauty in the world. He used cool colors. He was impressionist. Can you say it with me, kids? M. M. Good. Impression. Impressionist. He made an impression. He used the, the, the broad strokes of the brush. And they made these swirling patterns. Don't these look cool? All right, so we're going to talk a little bit more about him, and then I'm going to show you how to paint your own. Vincent Van Gogh was amazing, too. He did over 800 paintings. Can you guys even count to 800? 800 paintings. But people, when he lived, they didn't like his paintings. But now, they, he is one of the greatest artists in the world because people love his stuff now. But the main thing was to use his hard life to make something beautiful out of it. We all have a good life. We all have troubles, but we can all have a beautiful life. All right. So that's his starry night. What do you wanna, we're gonna paint today. We're gonna use colors. Blue, black, white, and then cyan. We're going to use the cooler colors. And then we're going to start painting, all right? So here's your, here's your paper. And then I got these little things for you. They're all presets with the colors you need. And then I'm laying them out on the floor. And you got this scrap sheet, too, that you can use to make mistakes or whatever on, okay? So let's get started. So just follow along with me and uh, let's see how we do, okay? But let's give an example. So while you're painting, here's the key, kids. Think of something that made you upset before. Doesn't have to be big or small. For example, I lost my keys the other day when I was at the gym and I was gonna be late to do a test and I was so worried. Can you show me your worried faces? Yeah, I was worried because I was going to fail. But then I found the keys and I felt so good. But we all have those little moments where we're upset and frustrated. So think of one of those while you're painting. And then feel it while you paint. Think about it, okay? So let's start with a bit of blue. Let's get some wide strokes. And we'll do a little stripe of blue on the painting. And you see how I'm going back and forth? Good job. 
See how I'm going back and forth? Yeah, like this. You slowly lift your hand like that. And then you can think of the blue. Has everybody, anybody ever called you blue when you feel sad? You can think of the blue, but look how nice it looks. We're making this weird stripe of blue on the page, right? Easy. Easy does it. Now just slowly, slowly get to the edge of the page. Right? You can just slowly do it. There, doesn't that look cool? And then we got a layer of the blue, right? Right? All right. And then you see the layer of blue, how it, the, the wide strokes. And we went slow, right? We went nice and slow. That's perfect. Now we're going to do a little bit of what color should we do next, kids? Oh, green is my favorite color. It's the greatest color in the world. Okay, I have my opinion. But you guys all have your favorite colors. Mine is green. So we're going to go up down on the green. I'm going to mix it in with the blue. I'm going to go up down. Up down with the green. And mix it with the blue. And think about the frustration. And you can go a little bit faster, right? Because you were, you were upset. You can... You can go a little bit faster with the green and you can blend it in, right? And you were, you were upset that you couldn't find something or, or you were upset that you had to try something new or that you were upset. Someone, someone just made you upset. And then you made the layer of blue, right? And now we're going to start mixing the blue in. So you take your brush like this and then you go like this and then you mix the blue in on the paper. Did you know you can do that? You can mix it on the painting while it's dry. And then you use the wide strokes and then we're slow again, right? And then, and then we're fast and then we're slow and then we're fast. See, it's like, it's like music. You gotta, you gotta move with the rhythm of the painting. All right, what color should we do next, right? So look, it looks like a pond or like a little bit of a wave. Maybe that's what I'm painting. What are you guys painting? I'm gonna do like a wave. So I'm gonna use a bit more of the blue and then we're gonna go up. We're gonna use the wide strokes and we're gonna go up and do wide strokes, right? And then we're gonna do that and then the blue, look at the blue. And then you can do light blue. Uh, cyan is what the color is called. And you mix it in with the light blue. Mix it in with the light blue. Rise it. Rise it up. And then you can use, go like this too. Can you all do the stripes like this? Down your side of the painting? Can you do this? Yeah, you can go sideways. And then you can do the wide brush strokes. And then if you really want to get interesting, you can do it. You just got to twist your hand. Twist the hand like that, and then you can make swirls, and then you go like this, swirls on the paper, just like Vincent, right? And we're making swirls. And see how cool? Look at all the layers. Beautiful. And now, look, we can show a little bit of white because I was doing like a, like a wave. And the, the waves at sea, they have foam, like little, little foam. And this, it sprays out from the wave and it rushes like the bubbles. So we do a little bit of the white and we mix it in with the top of the wave, right? You see, it, it mixes in and it makes it lighter. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then you can do the swirls with the blue. And look, you got another layer of the swirls. Isn't that cool? And then we're gonna do another layer of the blue, right? What are you guys thinking about right now? What makes you upset? You can do more and more 
paint and just focus on the paint. You can take your mind off it if you want, or you can focus on it more. Whatever you're feeling, it's okay to feel. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna do a big wide stroke again of the blue. Gotta make it a little bit more dark. So it looks a little bit more recognizable, right? Look, isn't that, isn't that nice? And then do you guys like animals and grass? That's what Vincent did, he did realistic paintings. We're doing the grass and we're gonna go side to side, but the other way right now, okay? And you can shake the brush too. Like this, and you can make little little dots, and then it paints like that. And then we could do more green on the bottom. It'll mix in with the blue, but that's fine, right? A little bit of more green. Make sure that you guys are rinsing the thing before you move on to the next color, though, okay? Look, see? See, we're doing long stride, we're going slow again, but then we can go, because if you're angry or upset, you can go like this. You can shake the brush a little bit and then you can smooth it out. And it can't do anything anymore. And you can go like this and you can smooth it out. And then you can do the swirls a little bit in the grass. Maybe there's plants in the grass, who knows? And then Vincent used a lot of yellow in his paintings. Do you know why he used yellow? It shows contrast, right? It makes it brighter. And the darkness and the, and the brightness of it. Exactly. And then we're gonna do a little bit of the yellow. We're gonna do a little bit of the yellow in there. The sun isn't normally green, but the star, do the stars swirl sometimes in the sun? Of course they do. And then there's a little bit of the sun rays, right? Swirls again, right? We could go darker blue, even. Look at that, it's beautiful, right? You guys are doing such a good job following along, all right? And then, what, what are we gonna do now? What shape do we want to do now? We're gonna do a little bit of rocks. So there's rocks in the world, right? I'm gonna do a little bit of rock. Rock in there. And you can go like this, you go side to side. It looks like a little mountain, doesn't it? And then the biggest rocks become mountains, right? You do the little pyramids. If you use yellow, you can make it look like a pyramid if we were doing a desert painting, right? And then you can do the swirls a little bit make it like a round rock and it's all bumpy in the shape, right? You could do swirls this way and that way. And then look, it's, it's a big rock. But rocks have a little bit of lightness on them, don't they? And we put a little bit of white and then we can make a new color. We can make it into gray. Right? Look, look at how that swirls together and it mixes. And we're mixing it on the page. Why not add a mountain? There's a mountain on the side of the hill. There's a poem too. There's a, they, uh, 
the days have gone down, they have passed like rain upon the mountain. We could do a little bit of rain, can't we? Go like this. We can just like brush it in. Brush it in, right? Go like that. It looks like rain and it's going on the side of the mountain, right? It's falling down into the mountain. Let's say you don't like rain, you can change it, right? You can change it. You can make the mountain a little bit bigger, a little bit darker. And then you can take the brush and you can smooth out the rain. Good job, everybody, okay? You're doing such a good job. Now, I'm about done. I'm almost done, at least, right? And then we get the little swirls. We go and twist the brush, and we swirl it in. And we're gonna do a little bit more of the blue, a dark blue, and we're gonna swirl it in there. We're gonna do a little bit more of the white and then we're almost done, kids, all right? Look at how good, and you guys are doing such a good job. Look, we built the landscape. There's the cool sky and the sun, just like Vincent. All right, now everybody, I want you to hold up your work and show it to me. You guys have done such a good job. But here's the kicker, while you were drawing, while you were painting, you were thinking about how upset you were. And then you painted it. You used it. You felt the emotions, right? And you made something beautiful out of it. Sadness, frustration. You, you have your choice cards and your options. You can go to the quiet area. But why not paint? You can make something beautiful out, just like Vincent did. You, you're upset about something then go paint it out and use it. Think about it while you're doing it. Don't try to get it out of your mind. If you want to, that's fine, but paint it. And then you can feel better. Don't you guys all feel better? You guys done such a good job. We're gonna hang the displays up now. All right. And then, all right, you've learned to control your emotions in the right manner. You guys are so good. Um, I hope you guys continue to paint, and I hope you enjoy the lesson, all right? And you can be like Vincent someday. Don't you forget that. We learned how to control our emotions. We learned the brush strokes, how to paint, right? We learned how to express ourselves. Can you all say express ourselves? We expressed ourselves. And we used the, the negative, the sadness. We expressed ourselves. And then we did the brush strokes, right? You did such a good job, right? All right. You guys have a wonderful day. I will continue next activity. We're going to go outside and we're going to go look at a landscape, okay? You guys are so awesome. Have a good one.